PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, how are we going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the world. Hey, I don't know if you've seen my other video where I got given this prehistoric welder and I didn't think the old girl would work, but sure enough we managed to fire it up and we got it welding and it actually welds a little bit better than my um, modern little arc welder. So what I thought I'd do today guys, is we'll pull this to bits and see if there is actually any electronics in it. You might be surprised what's not in it guys. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, we can have a bit of a yarn. And um, let's get into it. So guys, as you can see, she's a pretty old girl, much like me, about 100 years old. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do is pull it to bits, and especially for you, some of you younger fellas, you might not know actually what's inside one of these things, especially an old one like this. Um, so let's have a look, eh? Hey? As you can see, guys, she's pretty beaten up. <coughs> now, you'll be expecting to see this full of electronic gizmos, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, let's have a look what's inside it. <laughs> so what we've got here, we've got here, guys, is the amp gauge here. We'll go from 50 amp. Right down here to 140 amp, and that's pretty high tech. Now this is the inside of it, guys, look at this. It's the big transformer, full of cobwebs. I don't know what year this is exactly. And this here is our really flash gauge here. You see, you turn this, that goes in and out of the transformer and it moves this piece of steel along. It moves this piece of steel along here, which then goes on your gauge here, so it's really high tech, eh? <laughs> Not much to go wrong with these things, guys, but, um, it's a big heavy winding on this transformer and it doesn't look like it's burnt or anything. Anyway guys, let's have a bit of a closer look. See it's got quite a big transformer there and like I say she's full of cobwebs and that. I can't find a date on it anywhere but it looks alright and it doesn't look as if it's been burnt or anything so I might actually restore this little sucker, what do you reckon? If we have a look here guys, it's got one fuse here and that's the only sort of bit of electronic gizmos in here. And it's only a fusible link. If I pull this off here, you might be able to see. See that, guys? We've got our main power lead coming in here, and this is just a fusible link here. So what happens if this burns out, then this will burn out before your coil and your transformer will burn out, so they can save you a lot of dosh. But it looks like it's been a little bit warm there, but nothing too serious. I've seen a lot worse. Actually, I've seen the transformers that are all dark around here because they've been burnt up. Anyway, I think that's quite a good score. Yeah, Pete. So this is looking at it from the top down, guys. Like I said, the Transformer's in pretty bloody good nick. I think it is anyway. Well, I was going to throw it out, but I think I'm just going to refurbish this. Put your comments below if you want to see me refurbish it, and I can try and tart it up a little bit. But what we'll have to do if I refurbish it is get rid of these old friggin' leads here, because I don't like them, um, and you can't interchange them. I want to be able to interchange them all with my other welding gear, so we'll have to put some DINs plugs on here and alter this a little bit. Um, put in the comments below if you want me to do it, and we can try and tart it up and see what she looks like. But it welds really good. I'm quite surprised. If you haven't seen that video, um, check out the first video. I'll put a link to it in the description below for you guys if you want. But look at this old old way of doing things, guys. Isn't that cute? I think that's lovely and cute. Look at that. You turn the old manual handle, and it moves a lump of steel along, which alters your gauge. I reckon that's pretty cool. And then it moves this lump of whatever this is in and out of the transformer. I'm no electronics expert, as you can tell. <laughs> so it moves this lump of stuff here, in and out. See that? We're going here, and then we're going in, and we're going out of the transformer. So that must alter the uh, the amperage that you're welding on. Anyway, that <laughs> looks pretty cool to me. Get rid of the cobwebs out of it, and we'll be right. Yeah, It's all right for nothing, eh? So guys, that was just another boring video for you. I thought you might want to have a look inside a prehistoric welder. I reckon it's quite cool how there's no electronics in there and it's as bloody heavy as shit. And uh, I reckon I can get a good little tool out of this. Anyway guys, if you want to see me restore it, put a comment below and uh, we'll see how many comments we get. And I'll get into it, eh? Um, like I said, I'm going to have to change the plugs and shit on it because I don't like the way it's set up. Anyway guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Like I say, come say good day in the comments below. See you next time. Bye. Also guys, before I forget, if you want to have a bit of a laugh, have a bit of a giggle, Check out my first time using gasless wire. It's a bit of a laugh. Um, doesn't take that long to learn. Check out the video up here, guys. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think.
Yeehaw!